Hello YouTube, being from the bedroom here, uh, your guitar junkie, just a quick update, attention, attention, attention please, all Walmart shoppers, um, just a quick variety pack, uh, I did get uh, three uh, Tommen guitars in, and um, I can't uh, go through each one, one at a time as of yet. But I just figured I'd do a quick little pop-up, a little teaser, as you may say, as to what's going to come. Um, but uh, first of all, the big reveal, um, before I get into it, uh, I'll be still monitoring my YouTube channel. Um, I have uh, quite a bit of um, videos on the back burner that I could post one or two a week to remain relevant and uh, I'll also be checking and looking up on um, comments and trying to uh, answer those and, and comment back as I always do because if someone takes the time to put a comment then I should take the time to uh, say thank you or uh, answer a question that they may have um, but honestly I won't be able to play a guitar or even tune these three up for at least six weeks because uh august 12th last friday i had my fourth shoulder surgery that's why i have the sling on um i have 25 staples going from here to here uh, the last one was a total shoulder replacement. This one was uh, a re reversal. So um, <clears throat> hopefully uh, I won't be a fifth. But <laughs> of course, there's talk of that too. So enough of me. Um, back to the guitar. Um, this is the Holly Benton T-Style Rosewood. Rosewood veneer headstock. Uh, some kind of rosewood fingerboard. I'm not really sure. It's nice and thick, though. You can see how thick the fingerboard is. Glossy back on the maple neck, which I, I like. Um, and rosewood, rosewood veneer, front and back. Strings through and uh, single coil. So that's super cool. Then I have the Brian May copycat. This is Holly Benton, and it um, uh, looks like BM, of course, 75 Deluxe. So it looks like Grover Tune is on the back, um, and it's got three single coils. So this is the second guitar that I have that's got three single coil pickups on it. I've got one Strat, now I've got this. Uh, with all the bells and whistles, you know, with the turning on the pickup, turning off the pickup, and uh, um, um, phasing it in and out and stuff like that. I don't, I, I don't even know what it does yet. Uh, nice deep cutaway to get down there. And uh, the fingerboard is beautiful. Uh, just like the, uh, the telly, it's a nice dark fingerboard. 24 frets, abalone. Um, and just look at that. You can see the abalone with the binding around the whole thing. Just a uh, very nice looking guitar. Very pretty. Pretty mon. And last, not least, <clears throat> what did I get? Not sure if I'm going to hold on to it, but I just thought it looked so cool. Another Holly Benton SC. 550 deluxe too but this one in blood red yeah it's so dark it's really hard to see the tiger maple veneer um i wish it was a little bit lighter uh golden black you know for the uh, hardware the knobs and the pickups and the you know tail pieces but the the fingerboard is dry as dry as a summer day in the desert um stainless steel 22 stainless steel blacksmith frets and uh, this is the one i've been waiting for almost two months for so um i'll give it a run 
this has the Tesla Covid pickup. So again, it's it's like the PAF slash one. Um, it's got modern and vintage uh, vintage tuners, um, modern pickups. This uh, uh, should also have the uh, nickel size volume and tremolo. So we shall see. Like I said, I won't even be able to plug them in and tune them up for at least six weeks. So um, I just want everyone to know in case, you know, i am become a bit of a slacker. That's the reason why. So um, that's it, everybody. Uh, have a good day and a better tomorrow.